Hi guys, welcome to my shop. I've been making tons of progress on the swan, but I'm so behind. I've been working tons of hours. Um, if any of you welders have any tips besides long sleeves for preventing welding and cutting the sunburns on your arms, let me know. Um, yeah, that's a cute look for summer. I've been working on shoring up the internal structure of the swan's body before I start covering it with feathers. So here's a quick look at how that's going. You can see I've got uh, various braces in there for keeping the legs stable. And once I start um, building out the wings, I'll, I'll build off this triangle shape here. Um, I'm sure everybody pretty much knows that triangles are the strongest shape. So the swan may have a lot of curves, but inside it's built on a pretty um, sturdy design structure, at least, of triangles. Anyway, here's what I've been up to. Covering the body with feathers. After getting the whole thing framed in, um, the next step is starting to cover the body with feathers, which all have to be um, individually cut and individually deburred, which I don't know if you can even see this. There's very little um, slag that's produced from the cutting, but just enough to make there be little sharp edges, and since this is a public piece and little hands are probably going to be exploring it. Um, I just have to go over each and every feather individually <laughs> and make sure there's no little spurs or things that could cut anybody. So that's extremely, extremely time consuming. So I, I work off photographs a lot when I'm making animals and birds. And so I was using this photograph of the swan's back. And I don't even know if you'll be able to see this, um, but it's, show, it, it's a good uh, illustration of the different directions that his feathers go, um, where they sort of, they start out going down towards the tail, but up towards the wings where he's, he's flapping his shoulders, I guess, they sort of change direction. And so to keep the swan looking as realistic as possible, I was trying to follow that same type of pattern. Um, and when you're layering on the feathers, uh, you want to avoid a real, like, you know, brick wall type appearance where it's super patterny. You want little slight variations um, happening that keep the eye moving and um, keep it looking as realistic as possible. And the other thing I found is as you go, you don't want to skimp on the feathers. You want them to be a very overlapped appearance. And that means you have to keep um, beefing up your frame and adding little pieces in to attach the feathers to as you go. And that is a good thing because it just makes the frame all that much stronger as you're working. Um, so in the end, it's like super strong. So that's where I'm at right now, cutting out and um, finishing bajillions of little body feathers. I still have to do the, the whole underside. <laughs> There's this beautiful feet and legs. Um, and then I have to do the neck and head and build the face and build the wings and then I have to make his wife because I've already decided this is the guy. <laughs> so um, it's coming along really cool. I really love how all this looks. It's so flowy and cool looking with all these feathers on it and it's gonna be awesome. Now I have to get back to work because I have a heck of a lot of feathers to make today. So. Thanks. Bye.